Welcome to Shop Talk Express. I'm Carolyn Schneer. And today I'm talking with Preben Christensen, who is the head of people for Circle K Europe. Earlier this month, we published a story about Circle K's Kindness Day initiative. And Preben, if you could tell us a little bit more about Kindness Day and why did you come up with this initiative? Sure. Um, first of all, thanks to you for, for having me on. Um, in, in 2022, uh, all of our European business units launched an anti-harassment campaign um, based on some framework and toolkit we launched uh, earlier this year from our European HSE department. But we wanted to take it uh, uh, even further. Uh, so we did surveys, uh, both internally and uh, externally. And we saw an alarming frequency of, of harassment from customers towards our, our store team members. We saw, for instance, that more than 50% had experienced uh, harassment. This was a cross-service industry, so also not only the Circle K numbers. I mean, and we saw also that the harassment was multidimensional uh, in all our countries, where sexual harassment and ethnicity and religion were the dominant uh, uh, dimensions. We also saw that uh, verbal abuse was more frequent than, than threats and, and, and violence. And uh, we believe that all of our employees had the right to return back home from their workplace in the same state as they arrived. And protecting and supporting our team members is our number one priority. So when we saw these numbers, we, 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 we had to act. You know, we're, we're in the people business and our people will always be our most important uh, asset. So we wanted to continue on the great initiative we saw locally. And we came up with the idea of a cross European Circle K Kindness Day, where we aim to, to celebrate all our customers that treat our store team members the way we want them to do. Because frankly, the vast majority do so. Uh, so by saying uh, thank you for being kind, we did not only give positive feedback to our customers that are treating our store team members good, but we also remind the ones that are not, uh, that unacceptable behaviors are not uh, tolerated. So when it comes to the day itself, uh, the Circle K Kindness Day, January 25th, we, we had put up stickers in our stores in, in places where we normally face aggression from our customers. It can, for instance, be uh, in queue line where we were saying, thank you for being patient with us. We will help you as fast as we can. Or similar equations in the stores where we have uh, experienced uh, 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 aggression. So we approached our customers, but we also made it easier for our employees to report harassment. So in each store in Europe, we put the posters with a QR code uh, where the employee can scan the QR code and automatically be linked to the report to it. So from the moment uh, our store employee has scanned the code, it takes approximately 45 to 55 seconds to report the, the unwanted uh, behavior. Uh, at the same time, we launched some new training materials for store team members on how to, to tackle um, harassment uh, uh, situation. And uh, finally, I think uh, uh, since we did external service as well, and uh, we wanted also to challenge the rest of our industry to join our fight against uh, harassment, because it is not only a Circle K problem, this is an industry uh, problem. And I, I strongly believe that joining forces on this initiative will make the impact for employees in, in, um, in the industry even bigger. So I think industry and society must step up against harassment to make uh, our workplace safer. I, I mean, this is just an amazing initiative and it's an unfortunate that you have to go this length because it's just nice to be kind. So what has been the employee reaction to this? Have they um, voiced um, safety? Are they happier? Have you, have you heard a lot from those? What are some stories that you've heard? It, it, it's still early, uh, but uh, we only uh, gotten positive feedback so far. Uh, you, you might hear that spot on towards uh, what's needed uh, is some of the feedbacks. But um, we have our yearly My Voice survey. Uh, this is a global engagement survey we run uh, once per year. And we have seen that uh, the, uh, the results on well-being are increasing. And you know, I, I don't think we can give all of, of, of that to, to, to the Circle K Kindness Day. And it's way too early to, to see if that's um, um, one of the reasons for in increase. But, uh, so what we will do is to start measure our anti harassment work quarterly through poll service to our store uh, team members, because it's, it's so important for us. We cannot rest until every team member feels uh, safe working in our stores. How did the customers respond on that day? 
I'm, I'm absolutely certain that, that our customers sees and also understand why we're doing it. Uh, and we've gotten positive feedbacks from our customers through, through our, our store employees. And as I mentioned earlier, fortunately, the vast majority of customers are kind. And, and that's also why we're saying uh, thank you for your kindness in our campaigns. Because we believe it targets both those who are kind and those who need to reflect a bit more. Uh, but uh, again, we believe this will take some time, uh, but we, we still um, see at this early stage that our customer appreciate the initiative and they see also the need uh, for awareness uh, uh, around it. And I, I do think um, even though we're trying, we can't change the behavior of an entire population, but we can make sure that every single team member is prepared followed up and all, also feel taken care of. Uh, and, and that is our commitment to our to our store employees. So as you previously mentioned that you're looking for retailers within the whole industry to get involved, how can retailers get more involved? I mean, we, we, we started to, to encourage the service industry to work with us. Uh, and, and we are ready to, to share best practices, get hop on calls or workshop or what have you to see how, how we can, can utilize all of the toolkits we have uh, prepared and, and see if that's uh, useful for, for other, other companies as well. So I, I, I just feel that we all, we need everyone on board to, to, to address this issue and, and we are ready to share. So, so, so please join us. We, we, we have to do this together. You've heard that here January 25th next year in 2024 and beyond. We're looking for an all call to the industry to get involved. So you can visit Global Convenience Store Focus at our website. We'll have a contact form. You can link in there and we'll get you as much information and get those toolkits to you as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing this. And viewers, thanks for watching. Be kind and have a great day.